Which one has more momentum if they fall at the same velocity? The basketball or the tennis ball? The basketball. Bigger mass means bigger momentum for the same velocity. Now, watch what happens when we stack the tennis ball right on top of the basketball and drop them. The tennis ball just launched way up. Why did it do that? Here's the physics. As they fall, the basketball has a large downward momentum vector and the tennis ball has a small downward momentum vector. The basketball hits the ground first. Upon impact with the ground, the basketball's momentum vector is reversed. The next instant, the fast, upward-moving basketball elastically collides with the downward-falling tennis ball. The tennis ball transfers its downward small momentum to the basketball. The large momentum from the basketball's upward bound is transferred to the tennis ball. Because the tennis ball has such a small mass, the velocity boost it receives is enormous. It can travel several times higher than its original drop height. Now, let's drop a lump of clay. It just splats, no bounce. Now, let's put the clay on top of the basketball and drop them. Upon impact with the ground, the basketball's upward large momentum transfers into the clay and the clay's small downward momentum transfers into the basketball. This causes the clay to shoot up. In both cases, the basketball does not bounce as much. That is law of conservation of momentum in a nutshell.